And now you want to take your other towel, your hand towel, and roll it into a tube. And um, again, as, as you find this is something that you love to do and you get more interested and you may decide to go on and on in the world of felting, then you might need bigger pieces of, of uh, plastic and you can use bubble wrap. Um, I've also used solar pull cover cut to the length and width that I need and in place of a rolled towel then a pull noodle works very well as uh, in, in addition. Um, if you're using anything else you still want layers of plastic it, it eases the process as you're lifting and checking and moving things about. All right so you've got your roll towel and you put it on the bottom edge the edge closest to you of your piece and you're going to lift up both layers of plastic. I'm leaving the towel underneath but I'm picking up both layers of plastic and gently and lovingly rolling it around that towel that's in the shape of a tube. And I'm just rolling it up very gently. Now this is when you're going to start to discover if you've got a, a lot of water then it's going to start to spew out and that's why we have a towel underneath. You're fine with that. Uh, if you need to get another towel or a sponge to mop things up, that's that's well uh, fine as well. And as we go along in the process, we'll know if we don't have enough water. And I'll show you how to test for that. So now the towel has been rolled into the two pieces of plastic. And I can gently hold it just like that, but you don't have to hold it up. I just wanted you to see that it's not on the bottom. Now I'm going to take the bottom towel and roll it around that just once or twice. And here's where the agitation comes in. So we're just gently going to roll. I'm not forcing, I'm not pushing because that can disturb my design. And I am kind of splaying my hands out to the edges as I go along. And every so often I will roll it again so that the bottom becomes the top and the top becomes the bottom. And so this is the agitation water, soap, and agitation. And through this gentle process, we are going to create a beautiful fabric from the loose hairs of wool and silk. It's amazing. It's magical. And as I do this, I, I'm also thinking of my intentions. I like to meditate love and healing because again, each of these hairs is hollow and uh, they get filled up with the energy of what I'm putting into it. So I'm putting love and healing into these fibers. And we're going to do this for about five minutes and, and then after five minutes, oh I have underneath to help so it doesn't get so slick as just uh, um, drawer liners, you know, it's a little bit rubbery so that my towel isn't slipping. It's not required, I can do it without as well so I can show you it works just fine. All right, so after you've done that for about five minutes, then we're going to unroll it. So gently, you're taking the towel flat, and you want to find both the top and the bottom of the plastic. And gently unroll it. Now, we're going to check to see that there's enough water and enough soap. So as before, on the diagonal, I'm lifting the top of my plastic, tapping down any fibers that are sticking to the plastic as I'm scanning that edge with my eye and my fingers, tapping down any fibers that might be sticking to that top plastic so that my design isn't disturbed. I'm gently and slowly lifting that lid gazing at that edge as it comes off. And there it is. So now I'm looking uh, over the piece to make sure that there's enough water and not too much water. And as you can see, I don't have any puddles. If you have any puddles, you're going to mop it up with a sponge, a damp sponge, or with your towel. If there's poofy spots, you want to add a little bit more water. And these curly locks I'm going to want a little bit of texture in it, so I'll 
not all of this is going to adhere and that's okay because in my design and the, what the design I have in my mind is I want that to be a little bit textured. All right, so if your water's good, then we're going to put that lid back on. Again, smoothing it out with your hands. Now, this piece is going to shrink, and depending on what you're making, if this was a wearable, we would want shrinkage of about 30%. Of course, this is just going to be tabletop or wall hanging, so it isn't necessary to have that much shrinkage uh, because we won't have any pilling occur because we won't be wear and tear. But the shrinkage does occur in the direction that you're rolling. So we just rolled it horizontally, and now I want to roll it vertically. So I'm going to move the entire piece gently and carefully to put it in the vertical position. I'm also very cognizant of, of my posture and how I'm standing. Having done this for many years, you don't, you don't want to be leaning over a lot because it's, it's not good uh, for your spine. So now I have the piece in the vertical position and I'm going to take my rolled towel and do the same thing that I did before. I'm just going to take both pieces of plastic and gently roll it over the tube that I've made from the towel. Gently, gently rolling it, smoothing out any creases that are appearing in the, in the plastic, and then gently bringing it closer to me where it's easier to manage. And now I'm placing it at the edge of this towel, wrapping it in the bottom towel, and again, agitation. So we're going to do this for another five minutes. And every so often, I'm going to just shift so that the bottom becomes the top and the top becomes the bottom. Because what will happen is sometimes the water will pull under at the, on the bottom layer like that one wanted to be included. <laughs> so gently, not pushing hard. You don't, if, if you feel compression, it's too hard and you're probably shifting your design. Gently, gently, rolling, rolling for another five minutes. So after we have rolled now in the vertical position for five minutes, we're un taking this out to examine it again, finding those two levels, two layers of plastic, and gently unrolling. Now sometimes what can happen is that the, there's, it's hard to see the underside. So now because we have about 10 minutes in, there is some substance, although still not totally felted. And so gently and carefully, I'm going to take my hands on two corners, the top corner and the bottom corner, and in one swift movement, flip it over like a pancake. That was pretty good. You want to see that again? Okay, I'll do it two more times so you can see. So I'm holding the top corner and the bottom corner and flipping it. Now I'm back to my front side, so I'm going to do it one more time because I do want to examine the back. So I'm asking you to get this bottom side up. So now we're going to take that plastic off again, just like we did before, and gently on the diagonal, examining as we go along to make sure no fibers are sticking to the edge of the plastic. Gently, gently scanning that edge as we lift off what was the bottom and is now the top of the plastic. And I'm just visually going over the piece to make sure that there's enough water. Again, not puddling, but saturated. And that there's no poofiness. And this looks good. What I might do is add a little bit more soap on this side. So I'm going to dry my hands so that I'm not touching the soap with wet hands. And I'm going to do a nice little layer light, gentle layer of grated soap now on the underside. Now if you were doing a larger piece with multi, like more than four layers, then you can actually soap in between the layers even before you apply the water. But this is a thin enough piece that wasn't necessary. 
Now I'm going to take the top plastic and add it, put it back edge to edge as we had before, gently smoothing with my hands so that there aren't any creases in the plastic. And I'm going to gently rub this side as well. So I'm putting a little water down to lubricate my movement and just gently do this side as well. Didn't do this right away because again, the fibers are so loose that it gets, it's really tricky to flip a piece uh, in the first stages. So I wanted to have a little bit more stability. All right, and now we take the towel that we've rolled into a tube and as before, we place it at the base of the two plastics, lifting both plastics simultaneously and gently wrapping it around this tube. Gently rolling, rolling, rolling. And when we get it to the edge, then lifting it tenderly and bringing it to the base of the, the underlying towel so that it's easier to manage and stay in an upright position. And then roll it in the towel. And gently rolling, rolling, rolling. Gently, gently. And as before, every so often, shifting so that the bottom becomes the top. So if there is any pooling of water, it's getting more evenly dispersed. And then we unroll it. And so notice now that I'm actually going to be rolling off of the towel because here's my two layers. So I can do this one of two ways. I can lift the whole thing up and take it to the top and unroll it or I could have turned it around and unrolled it the other way. Either way will work. Now, so we did right side up, vertical and horizontal. We just did uh, reverse side up, vertical. Now we have to do the reverse side horizontal because remember it's gonna, we want this image to shrink proportionately. So we have to uh, roll it in both directions. So now I've shifted my image to the horizontal position, again taking my rolled cloth, my tube, grabbing both pieces of plastic, and rolling the piece gently in the plastic, smoothing out any folds in, in it as I go along, bringing it to the edge of my towel, and rolling it again. Shifting after several minutes. So again, there's no pooling of the water. And gently, gently for another five minutes. Okay, so now we've done the top side and the bottom side, vertical and horizontal. And now we're going to place it square on the towel. Now I'm going to do it uh, diagonally. So I'm rolling it just like I did before, gently bringing it into that tube and then bringing it into the towel and rubbing it again for five more minutes. Now, as we get deeper into this process, you can start to put a little bit more pressure. Again, you're not going to strong arm it, but you can start to put a little bit more pressure. And another five minutes. We'll then unroll it. And as you take that tube off, be aware of the diagonal direction that you did because we're going to do in the opposite diagonal direction. So I'm shifting it to the other diagonal. Gently smoothing out any creases that might have might be appearing in the plastic to preserve my design. Rolling it up and then repositioning my body to make it easier 
for the roll. And as before, rolling, rolling, rolling. And for another five minutes. All right, so as I, and sometimes the plastic's going to stick to the towel, so again, just be gentle and be present, be mindful of what's going on, and unroll, and I'm going to reposition this right side up so I can see what's going on. Okay, so we'll take the lid off. Again, be, being careful if anything's sticking to the plastic, bringing it back to the bottom layer with your, gently with your finger, watching that edge as you bring up the top plastic, gently, gently just tapping it down. So now we want to test for doneness. And the way we do that, oh, okay, so this is a good example right here. You can see right here in this corner that my fabric started to fold on itself. So ever so delicately and gently, I can just move it out with my fingers if I didn't want that fold in there. So now I'm going to start to see if these fibers are adhering. And you can test to see if it's done. As I roll my finger gently, these hairs are not coming up, so it looks to have a nice level of doneness. Now it might vary depending on where we are on the piece. You see this is not adhered, and yet because these are curly locks, if, if you recall, I, I decided I was going to let some of those um, be dimensional. But underneath the ones appear to be adhering, so that's how we test. All right, so now we have another uh, design decision to make. Let's say um, on many of the pieces, I like to keep the organic edge, the, the very uh, um, lacy edge work, but that may not be the design that you choose to make. So if you wanted a sharp edge, then you can just take that plastic and fold it over in a crease, gently tapping, gently tapping, smoothing it out for adherence and then bring it back like we did before. If anything is adhering, just gently with your fingers, put it where you want it back in place and just gently bring that edge. And now you can see I have a more definitive edge, more of a straight line. And so if I wanted to do that on all four sides, then I would do it on the other sides as well. Just fold that crease, smoothing it out with your hands. Now you've got the edge as a top layer, gently tapping back any fibers that are adhering. And look at that, you've got a beautiful straight edge. Now, of course, we've just doubled uh, the thickness, so we're going to have to roll some more, and that's okay. Uh, but this is going to give you the opportunity to have a straight edge, and I wanted to show you how to do that. And now I've got a straight edge on three sides. That one got a little wonky, so I went back and did it. And now the fourth edge. Gently, gently.
There we go. Now we have straight edges. Now because I just doubled over those edges, we're going to need to roll five more minutes on each vertical and horizontal plane. So as before, straighten out the top plastic, place your rolled towel at the bottom edge, picking up both edges of the plastic, wrapping it around the tube. bringing it to the bottom of your towel and roll. Roll, roll, roll. We're on a roll. <laughs> we set the timer for five minutes. When we're done, the five minutes, bring it back. Remember, we want to do it in both directions. We've just done it horizontally. So we, you can either unroll it yeah, let's just unroll it. So you want to make sure both layers of plastic come off the roll. And now we're going to roll it the other direction. And then reposition your body for ease of structural your body. And roll as we did before. You can bring this towel up, ease it, and a little bit more pressure. And you're never really strong arming it, but a little bit more pressure is fine. And for five more minutes. Now, depending on the breed of sheep, you know, these times can vary. The, the thickness of the layout, the uh, use of, of uh, adornments, all of those things can impact uh, the time that you need to roll. And so again, I'm just sharing with you what the fabric should look like if it's stable. So I'm checking these fibers. They look to be good. All right. And then we'll move to rinsing. So uh, if you have a bucket ready, that's what we'll do next is rinse. <laughs> 